Alright, in this video let's take a look at creating an ogive. Uh, so here we have a frequency table and we have the midpoint, the class boundaries, the relative frequency, and the cumulative frequency. So to create the ogive, well and, and this table here was created based on this data here and I have a video uh, showing how I created the table using this data <clears throat> and I'll have a link in the description of how to get to it so you can you can go and watch this if you need to but to uh, create a ogive we use the class boundaries and the cumulative frequencies so we have to do a little a little something here to, to do that so if you notice in the cell for the class boundaries I have formulas here see this is g2 plus 0.5 it's this value here plus 0.5 so I need these values here so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy them so I'm gonna hit control C that'll copy them and I'm just gonna put them down here but now when we paste them we'll right click and we'll hit paste special because I just want the values okay so I want you to see what happens if I just if I just paste them so we can hit control V to paste them and you can see it doesn't copy the values down so you have to hit control C that copies them and then we'll click down here we'll right click hit paste special and and we'll click values and hit OK and then the same thing we need the cumulative frequencies there's a formula we'll hit control C we'll come down here right click paste special and values all right so these are the values that we're going to plot but we also have to do something else so when you plot when you plot a ogive the first data value okay it's going to be the lower the lowest class boundary okay the 21.5 and we have to add that value into it and the lowest the first class the lower boundary is going to be zero okay that's where it's going to hit the the x-axis okay so so that's how you would set this up to do an ogive so we'll go ahead and highlight this and we'll go up here to insert and we're going to insert a scatter plot and we're going to use it with the with the nodes on it so we'll click this and you can see it uh, it created the chart for us so let's bring it over here so we can still see the data alright so this right here we'll we'll change the title now we can change that to customer ages We'll just click on chart title and start typing. We'll hit enter. And then we need to, we're going to put a, an X axis. So we'll just click here. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll hit the plus and we'll do axis titles. Well, we don't really need, we don't really need this one because we know it's customer, the uh, ages. It's the, it's the total and an ogive chart should always be increasing like this if you have it going up and then coming back down then you did something wrong and then the uh, and then the x-axis well we can label that uh, I guess we can call it ages that'd be fine Okay. All right, and I mean, there's really not much to do. It's it's basically done. Uh, what we can do is we can uh, we can come up here and we can 
we can change it to uh, a different format, different design. You know, however, we, however we want to do it. Uh, we can click this down and uh, change it. That one looks pretty good. There's another one, another one, and that one looks good too. I think we might use this one. So we just click on it and it changes it. And we can move it to another sheet by by just clicking in this chart area here and right clicking and say move chart and we want to move it to a new sheet and we can rename the sheet to OJIVE and hit OK and it moves it to another sheet and I know I didn't show this in the videos before but you can see that the text is kind of small here and all we have to do is just click on the text here and go to the home and we can change the font size here uh, we can change this to maybe 14 and then click down here change it to 14 change this one to 14 and then, then maybe change the title here to maybe 20 uh, that makes it look a little nicer and also here we can click on the line here and uh, let's see let's let's right click and click format data series and uh, let's click on the line and let's see there's a 3D format. Uh, I don't know. We could change some settings in here. Uh, or we can just leave it. It doesn't really matter. Right, we can come over here to this, this paint bucket here. And you see the width? We could increase the width of the of the line if we wanted to. So you can see how that comes out pretty nice. Make it helps us see it better. And then click on one of these nodes and uh, let's see. And that's increasing the the width again. So, you know, I think that looks pretty good there. We can leave it like that or, I don't know, maybe make the line a little bit narrower. Maybe right there at three. So that looks pretty good there. And you know, I mean, you, you can play around with the settings and do different things to it. And uh, but I think that looks pretty good there. So that's that's how you create a, create an OJIVE. But the thing you have to remember is you have to add in that uh, in that first in that first interval the lower limit of the class boundary and set it to zero because that's what OJIVE does. It starts right here. Okay, and then it and it then it's always going to be increasing. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, you can check out my other videos. All right, thanks.